Welcome to Finance and Excel video number 77. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Chapter 8, click on the link directly below the video and scroll way down to the Excel Finance section. Hey, we're talking about investment criteria, whether to buy an asset or not. We've talked about net present value, internal rate of return, and others. And now we want to talk about the profitability index. Now this is closely related to net present value. And what we do is we have our cash flows and our cost. And we calculate the net present value of our cash flow. So we're going to calculate net present value of those and then divide it by the cost. And this gives us value added per one dollar. Sometimes this is used when investment funds are limited and you want to see for every one dollar invested how much value would be added, a way to choose between uh, multiple projects. All right, so we do our net present value and we'll use our net present value function. Our required rate of return and our cash flows from time one forward. Now if we enter that, that's just the, the present value of these cash flows. But then we need to, in earlier videos, we would uh, subtract the cost, right? And that would give us the actual value added. But here we don't want to subtract, we want to divide. And I'm going to have to do a minus because that's showing up as a minus up there and I want it a positive. And there we have. $8.04 for every $1. Now this is uh, usually how it's shown. I like to show it like this though. Down here, I like to subtract 1. And then that tells us, tells us that we need an equal sign as the first character in our formula. And that tells us that 8.4 cents of value is added for each $1 of cost. Now the disadvantages are that uh, you don't want to use this for mutually exclusive investments. Uh, may lead to incorrect uh, decisions, just like with IRR. Scale is not revealed, right? So 10 divided by 5 is the same as 1,000 divided by 500. So the net present value may be 10 or 1,000. But with this method here, you can't tell because it's just telling you for every $1 of cost, what's the value added. All right, uh, a couple more videos. We'll see you coming up uh, in just a bit. We'll see you next video.